All right, guys, before I get started here, uh, if you're liking what Joe and I are sending out there to you, uh, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, like us on Facebook and Instagram as well. Yeah, Facebook, it's uh, New York Saddle Hunter Forum. Forum, right. And uh, hit the bell icon if you want yep. to be notified when we upload any videos. Please do. All right, guys, um, today uh, I want to just address a couple of questions we got. Uh, some guys on the on the channels have mentioned that they're they're buying 150 feet of predator line and they want to know how we uh how we cut it down to 75 feet how we burn the ends milk the rope out so we're gonna do a little quick video today of that um this isn't predator line this is just i'm just using this in place of it um so basically what i what i like to do is you know so you'll go through if you uh, with your 150 feet of rope I mean, the best way, of course, to find the center is, you know, take the two ends, go through the entire 150 feet until you come up at your midpoint, all right? I like to take my midpoint, just tape it off, and go around a couple of times. I don't know how sharp this knife actually is. Um, if you have an extremely sharp knife, you'll go right through that. But anyhow, I'm gonna find that midway point. You wanna make this as clean as possible so you don't have a whole lot of fray going on. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. how nice and clean that is. Yeah. The core is inside, so you don't have all these strands hanging out. Yeah. All right. So after I cut 150 and a half to 75, what I like to do is you can use uh, a tree in your yard. You can use a metal uh, column if you have one in your basement supporting your uh, supporting the main rack, the main girder in your house. Anything like that will do. Um, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to start on one end. I usually go around one and a half times, put a little tension on it and just pull from one end to the other. So basically what you're doing is you're, you're milking that rope out. You're taking the inner core and the outer core. You're kind of stretching everything out so it's perfectly even, you know? And I'll go back and forth a couple of times doing that. Two, two three times, that's all you really need to do. Plus the nice thing too is that when your rope comes and it's all coiled up, you're kind of taking that memory out right now, too. You know, you fed it when it's all coiled. All right, so once you get to the end of that, you're gonna take where you, where you taped off the center, and you made your clean cut. Take a little heat. You can also uh, see guys use, a, if you have a cigarette lighter, I know a lot of new cars today and trucks don't come with them, but if you do, that, that works well too. Put a little bit of heat on it. Doesn't need much, you don't have to make some huge, uh, huge flame out of it. You can either leave it like that, or sometimes I like to go down on a, on a floor or a tree or whatever. And that's what you're ended up with. So basically what you're doing is you're melting the tape, the inner and the outer core all becomes one. So nothing's going to milk out on that. Yep. That's basically it. Do that to both ends, right? To both. Uh, yeah, well, one. Oh, well, you're, you're cutting it in half. One's so. a factory end. Right. So right. that's always going to be, you know, they prep that in the factory. They yep. do it for you. Yep. But right where you cut that and you rope in the middle. Or if you're just ordering 75 feet of line, they'll, they'll take care of it as well. Yeah. But. In the event you guys want to have a second line or maybe you got a buddy i mean that's what joe and i did we bought 150 feet cut it right in the center milked it you know taped it cut it some guys you know I, I think some guys were buying like longer lengths and then they would cut them so that they can actually use to make their own tethers 
yes. and make their own lineman right. belt or whatever. Yeah. So they might buy 100 feet and just use that 75 for the climbing line. Exactly. Some guys at 25, right, you can make a lineman's rope yeah. up, you can make a tether up. Sure. And then you would do the same with the ends of your lineman and your tether as well, too, you know. Yeah. It's just, it, it keeps it nice, you know, this way nothing's fraying out the ends. And... Yeah. So, all right, that's basically it. Hope that uh, answers your questions. And uh, keep them coming, guys. Joe and I enjoy doing this stuff and getting it out to you. So with that, have a good day.